Good morning from Channel 5.5, where you get the news from half the time. Have you ever wondered what a daily life was like in Babylonian civilization? Well, we have an exclusive interview with three Babylonian citizens. From the Tower of Babylon, story of where they tried to reach towards the heaven, to the Hanging Garden, one of the ancient seven wonders of the world, Babylonia, an ancient civilization near modern-day Iraq, it was founded by Sumabum, the first king in the Babylonian dynasty. Good evening, from Channel 5.5, we travel back in time with Channel's 5.5 time machine from 1752 to 1592 BC to interview three Babylonian citizens. Today, we'll start off with a peasant named Abdul. Hello, my name is Abdul. Most peasants do hard labor and have low income. They're almost the lowest member in Babylonian society, but above slaves. So Abdul, tell me, how old are you? I'm 30 right now, but we use lunar calendar, so I'm about to turn 31 soon. That's interesting. How does the lunar calendar? The lunar calendar includes all four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Within those seasons, it includes the whole moon phases. And once all four of them have passed, it concludes one year. So wait, what season and what lunar phase are you? Well, I was born during the spring season and during the full moon. So what type of business do you work in? Well, I think now I am a third generation wheat farmer. I inherited my farm from my father. My father inherited his farm from his father and so forth. So what is the daily task as a wheat farmer? Well, as a wheat farmer, you do the usual. You know, you tilt the ground, plant the seeds, and then you harvest it when it's harvesting time. Make sure you water it, of course probably store it and then we sell it to vendors. As a wheat farmer, I'm sure your schedule is quite busy. How is your sleep schedule like? So since it's only me and my older son work in the field, it's quite stressful. I wake up when there is daylight and I go to sleep when I can't really see my hands. That's quite interesting. How come you don't work at the night? Well, there's no sense to because light to have at night is quite very expensive and I don't need it. But at times of time, I do wake up at night and do some mundane chores like check on the crops or make sure we still have food in storage. But usually I tend not to be awake at night. Now to get to some personal question, how is personal hygiene for you? For using the bathrooms, we have public bathrooms that are a bunch of toilet seats but no stalls and like anyone can use it. And for showering, we usually shower in the river. I shower with soap, but I know there are times when there's not enough money in the budget to afford soap. So what type of clothes do you usually wear? Well, I do make money, but not a lot. So usually when I buy clothing, they're usually one set of color. But the style that usually most people wear are short sleeves and a long skirt. So what is it included in your everyday meal? Well, usually I eat what's grown around the area, like fruits and vegetables. Of course, bread, you know, wheat farmer. And at times, like meats, not as much because meat is very expensive. And of course, you know, when there is extra budget in the money, I get some fermented beer at the bar. So how many times a day do you eat this uh, well, it does depend on the day, but usually I try to get in two meals a day since I do need energy to work on the farm. What do you do for fun on your leisure time? For some people, they like spending their time at the bar, but usually I like dancing and singing around Baruch's temple, and of course leaving offerings for the workers that work there. And for the children, they do put, have wooden sculptures or toys that they can play with. So what type of people do you see in your daily life? I see tons of people, like other common people, and of course slaves and merchants selling their goods. And whenever a priest does come out of their temple, I do see them around. 
so what advanced technology do you often see other than our form of writing and math i do use irrigation for my field because of irrigation has improved the likelihood of my crops surviving and being more healthier so what type of hardships have you faced other than the worry of you know getting drafted to the war and hopefully not my son hardships i have faced are drought and locusts. With droughts, you know, with no drought, no wheat, and no wheat, no money, and let alone no food from just personal need. With locusts, they're just an infestation to deal with and also destroy your crops. So, what type of religion do you believe in? I believe in a Duke, the God of God, but I also believe in Nana, the God of Moon. When I pray to him, I pray that he increases the river level so that my crops can grow bigger. So my final question is, do you believe there is a social ranking in Babylonian civilization? I do believe that there is a social class and I am ranked like the lowest of middle class or just higher lower class. And I do believe that the laws favor priests and religious figures more. For an example, if a robber steals my sheep, I would only get paid when he gets sold into slavery like 10 times how much a sheep was worth. But if it was stolen from a temple, they would get paid 30th time how much the sheep was worth. But the law is fair in equality. If one person harms me, I can harm the other person, an eye for an eye. And it's also kind of fair with women with how when a woman gets sick, and the husband can't just leave her alone to die, but has to take care of her until her passing. So overall, the law is give and take. Azul, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure to have you. Next up in our interview, a slave from Babylonia, Ara. Hello. During Babylonian era, if you were captured during war, you would become a slave. But if you fell behind on your debt or did a certain crime, you would also become a slave. Slaves have the lowest social status. So how old are you? I'm 23 years old. Do you have any family? No. The only family member that I know that is only alive is my brother and I haven't talked to him in years. So how did you become a slave? Prisoner of war, I was captured defending my city state. Oh, which city state was it? Doesn't matter now, they're not gonna call the rescue people. So, what type of work do you do? What work don't I do? If it's not outdoors, it's indoor or vice versa. Usually, they make me do farm work and till the fields and plant the seeds and all that. If not, they make me carry anything that's remotely heavy. But it beats carrying out the sewage from the public bathrooms. So how is your sleeping schedule? I sleep any opportunity I get to be honest because at night they still make me work. So how is personal hygiene for you? Well the good news is that I get to use the public bathroom sometimes and then they want me to use the bathroom just right in front of their house. But for bathing wise, I, mean, I still shower in the river but with what money I don't really have for it. So. so what type of outfits do you usually wear? I wear the same outfit that I usually wear the day after and the day before. The same short sleeves and long skirt, and I just hope that I don't get a hole in any of them if I only have one outfit. So, what is a daily diet for you? And how often do you eat that said diet? And if I'm lucky, you know, fruits, vegetables, everything around the area, and bread, and small amount, and fermented beer, let alone meat.
So what type of religion do you believe in? I mean, I don't believe in the God of God, but I believe in Sasha, the light that covers me. So one day that you set me free from this injustice. Alright, for my final question, I'm going to ask, where do you believe in a social rank and if so, what do you think you rank at? I do believe that there is a social rank and I am ranked last and bottom. And the Hemini's code treats me like property rather than a person. In one of the rule books, it says that if a person tries to help me escape and if they get captured with me, they get killed because they're technically stealing property. And if somebody finds me and returns me, they get money back as they are returning property and themselves. Alright, Ara, thank you so much for your time. You've been a pleasure to have. Next up, a priest from Babylon, Amida. Hello, Amida. During Babylonian era, priests were there to spread the word of God, and B Babylonia was a polymethistic place. So you might be asking, how old are you, Amida? I am 40 years old, but in two seasons, I will be turning 41. You said two seasons. Do you use the lunar calendar? Yes, the temple uses lunar calendar to mark the date and time. So do you have any family? Sadly, I never met my biological mother and father, but I was accepted when I was younger to the temple and dedicated all my life towards it, and I consider people in the temple part of my family. So what type of work do you do at the temple? I work at the Virginia's Temple, serving its needs like any repairs, or making sure the place is clean and polished and prestigious. So how is your sleep schedule? Well, I work and live at the temple, so I go to sleep when the sun sets and wake up when the sun rises. But in the middle of the night, if there's anything that the temple needs, I'll wake up when it's gone. So what do you do for personal hygiene? I use the public bathrooms whenever I need to use the toilet, but there is for male and female. And for showering, I do use the river like everyone else, but I do have soap. So what type of outfits do you wear? I wear a silk tunic and a long skirt. There are options for multiple colors, or just one. I prefer to use just the one color. So what is your daily diet? Some priests work at other jobs like bars and government positions so they make their own money to pay for their own food. But since I am full time at the temple, I get donations of food from believers and they can range from all the local vegetation to fruits to bread and uh, sometimes lamb and fish. How often do you eat in your diet? I eat two meals a day, between morning and noon, after that, mid-noon to midnight. What do you do in your leisure time? I find personal enjoyment just hopping around the temple. Other priests though, they like to do their own thing in their own time. Some like to go to the bar, which I cannot go into. If I do enter, I will be set on fire for committing such a crime. What type of people do you see in your daily life? Since I'm at the temple most of the time, I just see other priests or higher priestesses. And at times I've seen King Sung Alun. Have you seen or used any advanced technology? The only advanced technology I use is our language conform to write about our God, Marduk. What type of hardships have you faced or still are facing? At times I do worry about getting attacked by non-allies at our city, but I do believe the King Sumo Doom will protect us. What type of religion do you believe in? I know that there are many types of gods, but I believe the God of all gods, or Mark Duke, I, the temple that I work at, belongs to him. Alright, my last question for this interview. Do you believe that there's a social class? And if so, what do you rank? Yes, I do believe that there is a social class in Babylonia, and I do not agree with it. I believe that we should all be lower, middle, and above. I do believe that all of us are below, and then there's King Sun Adun, who's on top because he speaks for the gods. Alright, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure to have you. Well, that was a day in the life of
Babylonia. With all those lives and experiences you just heard, you can get a picture of what Babylonia is really like. So, how do I get back to modern time? So there you have it, an exclusive interview with all the social classes. Hey, I'm still here. Why am I having left this timer? Anyways, so there you have it, an exclusive interview of all the levels of social class. Hey, you can't just leave me here. Uh, not kids. So anyways, so there you have it, an exclusive interview with all levels of social class and Babylonian civilization.